Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today we are going to be talking about scale. I'm going to in this video show you what scale looks like and talk about it a little more, tell you what to do to control it, get rid of it. Okay, so scale is, uh, they are smooth brown, sometimes light brown, sometimes a darker brown, they can be gray sometimes. They're oval pests, they can be shiny. Uh, but they don't necessarily have to be shiny, but they, they may be. They attach themselves to the underside of leaves, along the leaf midrib, or onto the stems. They will cause yellow leaves, leaf drop, and a sticky secretion that will attract a black sooty mold onto your leaves, which looks kind of nasty, and uh, if you just rinse it off, it, it'll go away, but uh, you do want to get rid of it as soon as you see it. You want to get rid of scale as soon as you see them, because what happens with scale? Scale are similar to mealybugs. They suck plant sap out of the leaves, as they do that, as they feed on the leaf, they cause that yellowing that I mentioned. They will cause spots on the leaf, yellow spots on the leaves. Then those, they will eventually dry out and get brown and make holes in the leaves. And they, as they are doing all this feeding, they secrete a honey-like uh, substance, which can get all over your floor. And that's what also attracts that black sooty mold. And that will eventually kill the plant when the uh, infection is, is uh, extreme enough. This arrowhead here has a very light infection. Uh, if you do find a plant that is infected, get it away from your other plants. I'm not really sure where this plant got scale since I, none of my other plants have scale, but keep in mind that a plant can harbor just one or two eggs in its soil for scale and mealybugs and other pests, and that can come out at a later time. So that's likely what happened to this plant, although this plant has been perfectly healthy for about two years. So it's a, it, it's, it's a strange occurrence, uh, but it does help for the, the purposes of this video. Now, I did already treat the scale with a horticultural oil you want you want to treat with a fine horticultural oil they do make oils that um, a very a variety of types of oils in another video i am going to show you how to apply the oils and mix the oils but this video i'm going to show you what they look like but if you want to go on and treat them you can manual removal also works really well especially for starters and insecticidal spray soap will also work and alcohol can also dry them out so closer up view here of them just to give you an idea this there's various uh, varieties of scale this one as you can see is you'll see these little tannish bumps tannish little things on here they aren't shiny right now because I have did spray them. Uh, they lost their shine when I, they 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 are right now are likely a lot of them are dead. Uh, so, but they tend to be really unlike mealybugs, which are easy to remove. Scale are pretty hard to remove. They stick. They cling, kind of like ticks. They remind me of little ticks, and so you really need to remove them it but you want when you remove them you want to do so very gently so the um because you can harm the plant as well so probably the tip of that is a little too sharp i was using it just to show you but you can see they are what they look like so that gives you an idea i have another video on edema in plants and that will also cause a similar look on your plants however the difference is that when you you can actually remove these which tells you their scale if you're unable to remove it or if you remove a bump and it actually takes out part of the leaf tissue that tells you that it is edema and i have the other video um, link below for that to to uh, show you the difference as well so i'm going to take off one of these guys here okay i have it on the tip of this 
very small um, and it did come off and it didn't take any leaf tissue off with it so it can be fairly laborious work cleaning off the scale um, but it is something you definitely want to do uh, because if you don't it will cause problems as mentioned it can also cause the leaves to curl as this one leaf is doing uh, at, because the leaf tissue because the um, the liquids in the leaf tissue have been um, uh, compromised so uh, that is it about scale and for now until we um, do in follow-up video treat with insecticidal soap um, one other thing, uh, they can also be treated with various botanical controls. So those are various uh, parasites and things like that that are good parasites that can be released in the soil and on the plant and they will actually eat the scale. They are their natural enemies. Uh, these various uh, parasites and there's little bee uh, the small black beetle as well. Those are their various uh, enemies basically in nature that would eat them naturally in nature so those can also be introduced into your indoor garden they do use those sorts of controls in greenhouses so that is another thing to keep in mind and further information on that in further videos as well in this uh, scale uh, looking closely at scale um, series Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.